The identity module is built on top of Microsoft's ASP.NET Core identity library. It allows you to manage roles and users in the system by setting permissions on both user and role levels. As admin, you can deactivate the user accounts, lock them from signing in for a specific time, enable two-factor authentication, set their passwords and claims, or log in as a user. You can navigate to the Identity Management section of the settings and determine the password settings according to your own flexibility. You can change the minimum length of a password, the number of unique characters required, you could also require a non-alphanumeric character, lowercase character, uppercase character, or digit. You could also change the lockout duration, the max failed access attempts, and you can also require a confirmation of the user's email or a confirmation of the user's phone number. And you could also allow or deny users from changing their emails. And same goes with their usernames. And not to mention the organization unit system that allows you to organize the roles and users in a hierarchical way. Let's suppose that we have a company and we're gonna call it X company. Let's create a subunit and we're gonna call it executives. We're gonna add three people. And let's create another subunit and let's call it managers. And we're gonna add five people. And we'll also have the employee subunit. And we're going to add nine people. After that, let's navigate to the roles and let's create these roles. The executives, managers, and employees. Now, the permissions of the executives is going to be everything, of course, because they are the executives. They can do whatever they want. Now, for the managers, I'm going to give them access to the audit logging, the dashboard of the project itself, the setting management, and the text template management. And for the employees, it's going to be the same thing as the managers, but they do not have access to the audit logging. Now, let's get back to our organization units, so we can add these roles to each of the subunits. The executives, the managers, and the employees. And now, if we log in as one of the employees, all we can see is the settings of the emailing, the text templates of the emails, and the dashboard of the project itself. And we cannot see or do anything else. Now, if we log in as one of the managers, we can see the same thing, but we can also see the audit logs as well. And if we log in as one of the executives, we can see everything because we are basically the admin right here. And we can grant or take away permissions as we see fit. Or we can also define their claims or even add a new claim. We are basically the admin. All of this is provided by the Identity Module from ABP Commercial.